My presentation is The Big Bang Theory, Relationship Between Past and Present. The proposed theory, um, Georges Lemaitre, who was a priest as well as a scientist and astronomer, came up with the theory of the creation of the universe, which later became known as the Big Bang Theory of the Origin of the Universe. And it was first announced as the hypothesis of the permeable atom. And this revolves around Albert Einstein's general relativity. Um, Lemaitre argued that the universe expanded from an initial point, which is the primeval atom. Um, it said that the universe started out as a massive fireball and occurred within a fraction of a second during the time of its beginning, which was approximately 10 to the 43rd seconds after its birth. And energy is pushed outwards into space at approximately 10 to the 35th seconds to 10 to the 33rd seconds. Which is, a pro which is a process known as inflation. And during inflation, the universe expanded and energy was converted into matter. The universe then filled with quarks and electrons. The temperature was 10 to the 27th degrees Celsius. The universe then cooled approximately 10 to the 6 seconds after inflation. Um, the universe continued to expand and gravity along with strong and weak magnetic forces come into play. Quarks, photons, electrons, and other particles fuse together to form protons and neutrons. And three seconds into the universe's creation, which is an extremely fast time, um, protons and neutrons come together and form basic elements such as hydrogen, helium, and lithium. The way I see the, the creation of the universe is I relate it to the common cold virus um, because it's something that started out extremely small and over time expanded up to the point where it could form elements and particles and you know eventually to um, stars and galaxies and the common cold virus it's, it's something that we all have inside of us it doesn't go away but it's probably extremely small and it can affect us right away um, and over time when it's exposed to to germs and other bacteria um, it'll grow and it'll keep expanding in, up to the point where it can affect us and make us sick. Um, now we have three minutes into the creation process. Um, it's still too hot to allow atoms to form, um, even though the temperature did cool to 10 to the 8 degrees Celsius. Light is still unable to shine due to the protons and electrons preventing it from doing so. The universe at this point remains a ghastly hot fog. And temperature, although extremely hot, still continued to, de to decrease, which gradually allowed new elements and other particles to form. Now we have many more years later, um, such as 10,000 years later, radiation appears from energy, which form different light wavelengths, such as X-rays, radio waves, and ultraviolet rays. And radiation continues to expand along with the universe, creating microwaves. And 300,000 years, years later, matter's energy and radiation's energy equalize, and the temperature decreased to 10,000 degrees Celsius. And this point in time marks the beginning of atom formation from the combination of electrons, protons, and neutrons. And those three elements also formed hydrogen and helium, and light was able to shine. Now we have star and galaxy formation. And it took approximately a billion years for the universe to reach a temperature cool enough to form the first stars and galaxies. So at negative 200 degrees Celsius, gravity was able to create a hydrogen and helium gas coalesce, which then formed giant fog clouds that will eventually make up galaxies. Um, smaller clouds of gas, they burst to create numerous stars, and the first stars to appear in the universe are known as population three stars, and scientists say that these stars were far brighter and hotter than the stars which are currently in our universe. Now we have the birth of the sun. Um, five billion years into the creation of the universe starts its formation. Um, at this point, the sun is just a swirling cloud of gas from the arms within the Milky Way galaxy. Um, gas and debris from the sun help form planets, the Earth being the third one to form. Um, it is said that the sun has reached its half-life and that it will, it will most likely form into a black hole 5 billion years from now and in the world. So it will pretty much explode. Uh, we have a supernova that will form and then you got a black hole and 
end all life on Earth. And speaking of the Earth, we will now talk about the formation of it. And 3 billion, 800 million years ago begins its creation. Um, the atmosphere was created as the temperature cooled. Um, it's still too hot, however, for plants and animals to thrive, but microscopic living cells evolved and spread throughout its volcanic scenery. 700 million years ago, um, primitive creatures come into existence. Um, some of these primitive early species include coenlenterates, co which are similar to jellyfish, algae, worms, enchonoderms, and other early animals. The first mammals arrived 200 million years ago, and they supposedly evolved from reptiles and had mammal-like characteristics such as a hinged jaw and complex bone structures in the ear. Um, dinosaurs roamed the earth, and they become the dominant species, but became extinct approximately 65 million years ago. And it is said that an asteroid or comet collided in Mexico, which wiped them out. And this then allowed the smaller mammals to thrive because they hid underground in burrows and were safe from the destruction. So they came out and over time these smaller mammals evolved into larger creatures which formed into animal species that roam the earth today. Now we have Homo sapiens which arrived 600,000 years ago and they evolved from apes and it is said that early humans descended from Africa. Um, Australopithecus is said to be our earliest ancestor due to the discovery of Lucy and her baby. Um, over time, these early humans evolved into more advanced species such as Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and eventually into Cro-Magnum and Homo sapiens. Um, in conclusion, I think it's quite fascinating to learn about um, the many formations that took place during the creation of the universe. Um, it's pretty unique how, you know, so many things can form in just a short amount of time. And, you know, I just find that pretty fascinating. Um, also, uh, to continue further, it, said that, it is said that the universe will continue to expand until it disintegrates 100 trillion years from now. That means, like, everything will be wiped out, every planet, um, only debris and particles will be floating around in space. Um, and as mentioned before, the sun will um, explode 5 billion years from now and end all life on Earth. And this is my Works Cited page, where I got my information and pictures. And this concludes my presentation on the Big Bang Theory, Relationship Between Past and Present.